Howdy, everybody. Welcome back. Today, we got 1,900 miles of road to tackle. A little bit of stealth camping thrown in. So stick around. over the Mississippi River and if you're asking yourself where we're going we're headed to Utah I've got a couple of national parks planned all of which I'll be bringing you guys along I'm not gonna bore you guys with the, the drive too much because it's gonna be a long one but when I run out of daylight I'm gonna find me somewhere to stealth camp and I got something interesting planned for dinner so I'll check in with you guys a little bit. Y'all, check out this tiny house. That is so badass. That is so badass. All right, y'all. Quick update here. I am just outside Oklahoma City. I've been a total of 900 miles today. I still got a thousand to go to where I want to be, which I'm not going to make today. But I figure out where I want to go. I'll be stealth camping in Amarillo tonight. And tomorrow when I wake up, we're going to go to Cadillac Ranch. It's definitely an understatement, folks. I'm 1,200 miles down, and I'm in a parking lot right now because I got to get some sleep before I keep going. I got the perfect meal planned, so I carry a bug out bag, and I've got some emergency meals in there. One of those is the perfect meal for tonight. So I'm going to grab the kettle out and go ahead and get that started. So in my bug out bag, I like to keep some dehydrated meals as a backup. I have one of those right here. And we got us a lasagna with meat sauce. I'm going to quickly heat some water up, get this thing rehydrated so I can eat. done boiling I like to measure because if you put too much water in these things they tend to be a little gross so needs one and a half cups all right let's give it a quick stir And then seal her up. All right, just like that, we're done. Set it and forget it. I gotta wait five minutes to stir it. While we do that, I'm gonna clean up. All right, it's been about five minutes. Let's give it a quick stir. All right, just gotta wait another five minutes. All right, it's time. Looks all right. It's a dehydrated meal, folks. <laughs> but 
I did get something extra to spice it up a little bit. Um, just some spicy Italian Gardettas. And for a drink, I got Grapefruit Tapu Chico. Oh, I thought I about had an explosion on my hands. No, I want to give these, I want to give this Gardettos a shot first. I've actually never had it before. I love all flavors of Gardettos, so can't be bad. Mmm, that's really good. Kind of dangerous, honestly. Okay, that was a great idea. Those are amazing. And it's going to go so well with the lasagna. Speaking of which, let's give it a shot. That's what it looks like. Here goes nothing. Mmm. Good as I remember it. So, <clears throat> these meals remind me of hiking with my dad when I was a kid. And every time I eat them, it brings me right back. Well, I'm going to finish eating this. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. I hit the spot. But I got to have a little dessert before I go to sleep. So I got some Nutella breadsticks. Nice little midnight snack. Because it is literally midnight. <laughs> I'm going to bed, guys. Because we got to get up in five hours. Because we're going to Cadillac Ranch. Good morning. Huh. Actually slept great. until the trash came and got picked up from the dumpster that I'm sleeping next to. But I had to get up anyway, so. Time to head to Planet Fitness and get a quick shower in. Alright y'all, as you can see, we're at Cadillac Ranch. Unfortunately, I don't have any spray paint. Um, I came last year and there was a truck out here selling spray paint. It's none today, so I'm just going to check it out for a little bit and head out. So for my international viewers, I know there's a few of you out there, this is an art installation in Texas. Uh, it was created by Doug Michaels, Hudson Marquez, and Chip Lord. They're part of an art group called the Ant Farm, and they created this in 1974.
As you can tell, tradition goes here at Cadillac Ranch. Bring some spray paint and you leave your mark. Like I said, I don't have any today, but I did that last year, so I think it's time to head out. Not too much to see here. Every day. All right, back on the road. update here. Just passed through Albuquerque, crossed over the Rio Grande. I had to stop and give me something to eat and uh, go to the bathroom real quick, get some gas. And I found something interesting. I found a Jelly Belly sparkling water. And if you've been around the channel for a little bit, you know that I like sparkling water, so I figured it'd be a good time to give a drink review. Um, it's cherry. Let's see what it's all about. It smells like cherry. <laughs> wow. That is a unsweet jelly belly right there. Very good. Uh, about as artificial of a cherry flavor as you could possibly get. Um, but, let's be honest, I knew that getting into it with a Jelly Belly soda. Also, a side note, I can finally see mountains. And I can't tell you how much of a relief it is to finally see something other than just flat nothingness. <laughs> that was too long of flat nothingness for me. We want to feel it just all over and over again more. Just give me more, cause we're addicted to the growth, oh yeah. Well, good news. I see snow on the ground. I'm in Arizona, so I'm not where I plan on being. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in the atmosphere. I'm really hoping for snow in at least Zion or Bryce Canyon, if not both. Um. I was in Arches last year and it snowed and it was just so much more magical when there was snow. So, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. All right, y'all, we're in Church Rock in Arizona and there is a dust storm actually. to get the door open um but yeah i just saw my first dust ball and um that was interesting uh but yeah i probably can't show it because it's so dry and dusty but there's a big dust storm blowing this way and uh i just had to stop at church rock real quick real quick even though you probably couldn't hear me very well but got a little bit more to go thing I thought I was gonna see. I'm glad I saw it. I've never seen a dam anywhere near this big. So this is the Carl Hayden Dam and we're still in Arizona but we're almost in Utah. Almost there. Well folks we did it. 
We're in Utah. Oh, that was a long ride. And it ain't over yet. God, this place is gorgeous. All right. I'm nowhere near the park. I still got about 100 miles to go. So, let's keep chugging. Penny skirt on, dip my body in glitter. Pop, pop, form, sneakers, all the boys want a picture. Two, two, four cars, I make rich look rich off. Save your breath, baby, I'm not going home with y'all. Penny skirt. Holy shit. I'm in a tunnel. I, I, I just have to show you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I was not ready for how cold it got. So last night when I got here, my body completely shut down on me. I had had a little stealth camp cook planned, but I, I could I literally couldn't do anything. I had to pull into a parking lot when I got here and just go to sleep. So let's go ahead and get up make us a little breakfast to make up for it. Alright, so we're going to be sticking with the emergency meal theme for this one. And it actually kind of worked out that I didn't do it last night. Because for this one, I've got a breakfast emergency meal. So let's go ahead and get that kettle out. Alright, now we add one and a quarter cups of water. Let's give it a quick stir. Alright, let's seal it up. Now we just wait five minutes. All right, it's been five minutes. Let's give it a stir. All right, then we wait another five minutes. While we wait, I'm going to go ahead and get the kettle cleaned up and tidy up a few things. All right, it's time to eat. It smells good. It smells like peppers and onions. So... It's got shredded potatoes, scrambled eggs, mixed with pork sausage, peppers, onions. And you can definitely smell the peppers and onions. That's what we're looking like. Doesn't look too bad. Alright, let's give it a shot. Here goes nothing. Mmm. It's pretty good. So just like any other dehydrated meal, um, it's a tad mushy. You know, the texture is not the best, but uh, the flavor is definitely there. It tastes like a southern skillet at a restaurant. Got some nice big hunks of sausage in there. All right, well, I'm going to quickly finish this up. Because I've got a big day planned. I will be exploring Zion National Park today. I drove through it last night in the middle of the night and it was gorgeous. There's snow on the ground and the moonlight lit it up the whole time. Um, obviously not enough for me to you know, see really well but 
the magnificence the magnificence of it uh, was definitely alluded to by that moonlight um, so I'm gonna knock this out pull everything together get going with that I'll catch you guys in a little bit Time to charge Rudy up with a little gas and myself up with a little caffeine. That's all for this one, folks. I appreciate you joining me. Hopefully you'll stick around for the next one. Y'all take it easy. Peace.